the most expensive states to die in. And one, my friends, in particular, is going to shock you. I'm still amazed that this state is hasn't fixed up their boondoggle. All right, so let's talk estate tax. All right, estate tax, right now we don't have to worry about it from the feds. There is an estate tax, but very few people who are watching my channel are subject to it right now. Now remember, part one of the estate tax isn't just what your estate is right now. This is an issue I think a lot of people overlook as a... Again, from a federal perspective, it's really not a big deal right now because the estate tax exemption is like, um, I think between you and your wife, $25 million or $22 million, something like that. Um, so it's $11 million per is portable, which means if I die with a, with $11 million, I can my wife can use my unused portion of the estate tax exemption and add to her. So again, it's, it's not a thing that we have to worry about from a federal taxation perspective. It probably will be in the future, but right now we'll, we're just talking about state estate tax. All right. So remember, if I have $2 million, all right, $2 million in my name right now, if I have $2 million, that's not subject to any estate tax for most places. A couple there are. No big deal. All right. I'm 65 years old. All right. So I'm just, well, I'm just 65 years old. That's no big deal. That's $2 million. That's not subject to anything. We're going to say I get 5% a year on my money, on my assets, I should say. Oh, man, on my calculator. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll have to use my phone. Oh, uh, we're going to say we're going to get 5% a year, so we use this, the rule of 72. Uh, 72 divided by 5. That means that money will double to $4 million by the time I'm uh, 80 years old. All right, so now, and this is the issue with estate taxation. It's not just the amount you have today, it's the amount you have in the future. That is the growth of your estate. And I think a lot of people overlook this. A lot of people say, well, I got a couple million. I'm not subject to estate tax. Well, you're right, you're not. The growth of your estate, though, could significantly subject to your estate tax. And by the time it's time to do something about it, you might be too old to know what the hell you're doing. All right, so let's look at these states right here. All right, most of these are pretty we pretty cut and dry. Uh, the big ones in particular, though, Massachusetts. I. Oh, <laughs> Massachusetts is freaking nuts, and uh, this is as of 2021. If you have an estate over a million dollars, your estate is subject to an estate tax as long as it's not left to your spouse. We're going to assume, I think all states have an sp unlimited spousal exemption. All right, that simply means I die with $3 million. Charles has nothing. Every single penny goes to her tax-free, if that makes sense. Now, that might sound good, but again, well, again, all you are doing in that regard is deferring the estate tax for sure, because when she dies, she will be subject, well, her estate will be subject to estate tax. Hope that makes sense. So a lot of people get wrapped around the unlimited spousal exemption. That means I can, Bill Gates could leave everything to, what's her name? The crazy lady who wants to vaccinate us all in Africa and whatnot. Melinda or Mackenzie Bates, something like that. All right, so when Bill Gates dies, leaves everything to M M Melinda Gates, she doesn't pay any estate tax. It's when she dies and it goes downstream. So remember, going sideways, husband to wife. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I can't believe you said husband to wife. Husband to wife, there's no estate tax. None. It's only when it goes downstream to kids, grandkids. Actually, that's not true. Not only when it goes downstream. It goes upstream. It doesn't matter. It's just it can't be a spouse. Which is one of the reasons why I think the uh, uh, the gays are absolutely rightly ticked off that they couldn't marry. They're like, wait a second, man. If I leave it to my husband, I'm a gay guy, I leave it to my husband, um, who I love and been married to for, you know, not married by law, but married for years. What, how come he's got to pay estate tax? Eh, I get that. Um, 100%. Now, at the end of the day, uh, where this ends up, I don't know. But this is the way it is right now. You get one spouse. That's it. Probably the way it should be. Can I just go on record for saying that? Is anyone going to ban me for that? You got one spouse. The way it should be. Everyone gets one spouse. We, and then we can all be happy. But we never will. Anyway, so what happens is now with the estate tax, you leave it to your spouse, is completely exempt from any federal. And again, I'm pretty sure all a, a state a, a state taxation. So the question is, Massachusetts, what happens when it goes outside? Not just downstream, but sideways, upwards, everywhere. To grandkids, to kids, to uncles, to your old buddy Josh, because you just love Pablo and Finney. Uh, at that point, Massachusetts is ugly because it reverts as if you had no exemption at all. At least it used to be. When I lived, uh, when I worked in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, had tons of Massachusetts clients. And I talked to a bunch of Massachusetts estate tax attorney, uh, state tax attorneys, and I remember talking to clients that had a couple million bucks, 
And I said, you're subject to a state tax. Like, no, that's for rich people. I said, welcome to the crew, buddy. In the state of Mass Commonwealth, Massachusetts, you're rich. So if you die in Massachusetts with a million dollars in your estate, guess what? You're subject to a state tax. Now, the first, it ain't all that much the beginning, but it does gradually go up to 16%. Yeah, I'm not even going to, I can't remember what the 16, unless, uh, it's, it's in the eight figures of memory service. I don't remember off the top of my head how much the 16% was. Uh, were you to be subject to this 16%. But that's straight up ugly. But look at Oregon. A million dollar exemption. The first million not subject. And then anything after that is subject to 10%. That's freaking nuts. Nuts. 10%. At least Massachusetts is only 0.8. And remember, your estate consists of anything you own, which includes life insurance. If you're the owner of life insurance, it is subject to to your as part of your estate subject to estate tax no it's not josh life insurance transfers tax-free it transfers income tax-free amigos it does not transfer estate tax-free if you own it it's in your estate and you will be taxed accordingly fyi and by the way who do you think benefits from the estate tax it's the state who do you think wants a thorough evaluation of your property it's the state so you say man i got this you know freaking uh babe ruth rookie card uh, do you think the state doesn't want to see that as part of a, an itemization of your assets? Of course they do, man. <sighs> anyway, so in or look at that. Oregon's nuts. A million bucks. Anything over a million bucks. That includes your property. You own it as part of your estate. Oregon, I think, is a community property state, so there's some estate benefits that you get uh, that we don't get in a common law state like we are here. So you definitely want to consult an estate tax attorney. Uh, to make sure you're taking advantage of community property as opposed to what we have here in common law. Louisiana is its own thing. It's all part of the French stuff. So I don't know the first thing about Louisiana, but Oregon, uh, the, a lot of the Western states are common or uh, community property. A lot of the Eastern, most, I think all the Eastern states actually are common law. So that's something for you to talk to an attorney about. Uh, but anyway, look at that. That is nuts, man. All right. In New York, we'd expect to have a high state tax. Uh, Minnesota, $3 million. Anything above $3 million is subject to a 13%. Yikes, that's all I gotta say about that. Uh, Washington uh, State, anything above two million is subject to a 10%. Yikes, 20% at some point. Yikes, oh, Bill, that's why they're leaving it to charity, by the way, because charity isn't subject. It's freaking stupid. Uh, Illinois, Maine, all right, so your old buddy Josh, if I retire to Maine, 5.8, I don't think I'll ever have 5.8. Uh, they won't let me anywhere near 5.8 million. So basically, it's Massachusetts, it's Oregon, it's Washington. Uh, where's the other one here? Because uh, I don't care about D.C. Uh, and Vermont is 5 million, 16%, so that's pretty bad. But basically, Massachusetts, the big ones are Massachusetts, Oregon, Washington, oh, Rhode Island, but even that's not so bad. So, but all you can easily have that right there, my friends. Easy. And then Minnesota, that's right, Minnesota. All right, so those five are bad. Minnesota, uh, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Oregon, Rhode Island, Washington. All right, but we're not done there, amigos. Not done there. In fact, you notice one state that's missing here. Huh, New Jersey. New Jersey, because they got rid of it by Christie to raise the uh, gas tax. So regular people pay gas tax and... Richer people get a state tax exemption. The New Jersey estate tax was nuts, though. It was like six seventy-five. That was crazy. But look at this: inheritance taxes and exemptions. Oh, oh. Now we're going to go into some of this stuff. But one I want to show: Kentucky. The ex class A is one hundred percent exempt in Kentucky. Hmm. Class B is only a thousand dollar exempt. Class C is C. So I want to go into that and let's see if we can see Kentucky. Uh, they don't. Class B beneficiaries are non immediate family members. Class C beneficiaries are non family members. So the uh, unlike the term ex, uh, unlike estate taxes, the term exemption here applies not to the size of the estate, but to the size of the gift itself. Essentially, it's the same thing. How much are you giving as part of your estate? to your heirs downstream, all right? And the heirs, do the heirs pay it or is it part of, I think it doesn't get released until the estate pays the inheritance slash inheritance tax, that makes sense. So in Kentucky, class C and class B, class B is what? So we go to class A is usually spouses, right? Class A are spouses, okay. Generally class A are spouses, beneficiaries, uh, spouses and children, generally speaking, but some states that's not true. 
Class B are non-immediate family members, not immediate, my brothers and whatnot. Well, often siblings, they say there, but eh, he stays different. Uh, I guess it could be cousins, whatnot. So class B beneficiaries, we'll just say are cousins. We're going to say for the time being, class A's are, are spouses and children, um, sometimes siblings. I challenge that. I'll show you why in just a second. Class B, we're going to say, you know, your cousins and whatnot. And class C are non-family members, you know, Josh, right? So if you die in Kentucky and leave it to cousins, you're only getting a thousand dollar estate tax exemption. That's it. So you're very encouraged to leave it to charity. If you leave it to only buddy Josh, you only get 500 bucks. And then the, the, the tax, look at that, man. It's nuts. All right. So if you die in Iowa, all right, and there is no exemption and you leave it to cousins, they're paying a state tax at five to 10%. If you leave it to cousins, if you leave it to Josh, well, your estate is paying a state tax, a gift inheritance tax, I should say, same thing at 10 to 15%. It's crazy. All right. Uh, Maryland's bad a spouse and lineal heirs. Uh, all others have a temp, no exemption, a 10% inheritance tax. Oof. Uh, immediate relatives in Nebraska have a 40% exemption. Other than that, it's only 1%. It's remote relatives. And then all others? That's freaking nuts, man. New Jersey's evil, dude. Uh, New Jersey's, look at that. 11 to 16% going side, going uh, to cousins and whatnot, going sideways. <laughs> Pennsylvania, lineal heirs. Look at that. No exemption. You leave it to your kids, 4.5% is the inheritance tax to your children. No exemption. Siblings, my brother and sister, 12%. No exemption. The entirety is subject to inheritance tax. That's straight up evil, amigos. That is straight up evil. But there you go. And I, that's, that's ugly. So if you're in Pennsylvania, you better freaking figure out what you're gonna where you're gonna die because if <laughs> if your wife dies and leaves you the boatload of money and you want to leave that to your kids, yikes! Love to hear your thoughts. See ya.